Uh, we normally do like E9, but we've done E9 oh. with you a bunch of times. We just have a couple little bullshitters. We're bringing back a little segment we did on a radio called Asking for a Friend, where these questions aren't from us, but we reach out to some of your friends. We have people zero you, to do with it. People you know. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, I'm sure you have zero to do with we it. We ask those questions. So we got a couple of those, and I got a couple of random bullshitters, yeah. and we'll just do it like that. You have a cu- I've got two. I can, yeah, I got two will be fine. Boy. Oh, I have one, a bonus one. You know, I because, might have a bonus. You're starting sleeve, with the bonus already? Well, no, just because I just remember I wrote this down. During the, because Sleeves was nice enough. Your your father over here was nice enough to throw you a little <laughs> celebratory party at Isabella's. Oh, yeah. Okay. oh, yeah. We need to talk about that, Have too. you ever asked Sleeves what the bill was that night? <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, I can tell you that. I'll, I'll take that when the answer is, <laughs> fuck no. <laughs> well, if you're, the last thing on his mind, he just made four stacks well, in his pocket. Well, here's the thing. I, I like, still feel bad about it, but you guys are like, oh, we got it, we got it. and I We won- did got it until it came, and I was like, this is tri- triple. What? Like, how much are pizzas in this? Well, yeah, you this? would think it'd be like three grand. Are these straight grand? from New York? Yeah, yeah, we're like, dude, it'll be four, five, you know, it'll be fine or whatever. And it came back, I was like, they, by the way, they put the amount of like pizzas we had. I was like, who's eating it? There was only 40 people there. We ordered 72 pizzas. I was like, who, who snuck I in? Have, I might have called in and sent some down the road to some friends. <laughs> yeah, somebody did. <laughs> they probably did. I mean, Fat Perez is there. He only drank. He didn't, yeah, it he wasn't didn't him. Eat. I was like, who's eating this? Dog? Oh, my gosh. Beautiful. Oh, man. I know. I, I, I still feel bad. You owe me, but... you owe me, you owe me a substantial amount. We'll get to that a little later. I'm taking it out of your will. About the same we'll as... play pickle for it. Oh, for two trillion. Oh, by the way, he's saying now he talks shit about everything. By the way, but now he's texting me the other day. He's like, "I'll pickle anytime Did you, you tell want." Him? Did you and tell I him? asked him. I was like, "Bet, name it anywhere for whatever amount. Play for your earnings this year. There's just no chance." And I was like, "Who's your partner?" And he goes, "Ben Johns, who's the, the number, number one player." player in the world. I, 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 I know like, that. I, was I, like, I looked it up. I, I, yeah, you know, I was about I was to like, say. He's like, "Why? He's my friend. Why couldn't I play with him?" I was like, "I don't give a shit." Um, he's not my friend. I don't. By the way, we said it to you every time. It'd be fine. But now, now he's coming with Scotty. He wants to go to Scotty. If we yeah. do that, that would be made for TV. Scotty won that pickleball in Dallas yet. going up against I saw him. I said, I, was, I said, that's probably the best amateur I know is Scotty. He looked uh, he looked good in that thing. Like he was, yeah. I was impressed. He loves it. For a guy that I don't know how much he plays, it's a little more of a risk of him hurting an ankle than it is for the rest of us. But um, yeah. you talk to Scotty, set that up. We'd be, we'll. By the way, he would love to do it. He, we'll make it happen. He asks, every time we're somewhere, he's like, hey, you want to play pickle? You want, he's really? asking everybody. He's like that? He literally every week plays pickle or now he's into paddle. But oh my. he loves all of them. There's a tournament coming here pretty soon. Yeah. He'll be here. Is it, oh, He's yeah, only he won, won it twice, yeah. so but he might have a few obligations. I can't but. wait to be sitting at home. It goes across the bottom. Wyndham Clark and Scotty Scheffler are the WM Phoenix Could Open because they rolled the ankle playing pickleball. Could you imagine? So we're playing for $3 trillion, so. yeah. 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 Okay, never mind. <laughs> it's worth it. It's for a trillion. <laughs> all right, you want to start with asking for a friend? Would you like me to? Yeah, I'll start it off here because um, we talked about your, your – Three wood in on 14, and I've been told that this question potentially helped lead you to ultimately winning that U.S. Open. But the question is, if a baseball team is 86 and 84, how many games over 500 are they? Oh, now, now that you bring this up. <laughs> yeah. Are you not going to say who the question's from? Oh, no. well, he knows, I can guarantee. Well, they don't. Uh, it's from... You'd say, from Dick Fowler? Uh, it's actually no, it's not from R- Romano. It's not from Richard Romano. It's actually from Jelly. Oh, from Jelly. It's from John Ellis so, and Caddy. Dur- but by uh, the way, we were having this argument all day, Ricky. Yeah. Ricky, Ricky, and John and I, and they thought, I'm like, it's relative to what 500 is, and they were like, no, it's relative. So if you win 100 games and you go 100 and you know 62, they're like, oh, you're up. They're saying they were saying you're up 30, you're 30 games, 38, 38 games, games above 500. I go, no, it's relative to what 500 is, which is 81 and 81. And so that's what I believe. So and you guys argue about it the whole time. The, the whole answer time. is you're two games over 500 if you're 86 and 84. 100%. Right. Okay. I was going to say, if they're saying you're not, like if you're eight and seven in football, oh, what way, are you half a game them, above 500? All three of them said that it's the other way. They're like, no, you're 38 games above. And I go, no, it has to be this. And so we were arguing, literally walking the whole, up 14 fairways. Yeah. We were laughing about this because we're at, like full argument about it. Yeah, Ellis was like, dude, we're sitting here on 14 like with ultimately <laughs> what goes down is like the biggest shot of his career and we're waiting and it's like, we're leading though. And all we're talking about is how many games and like, <laughs> he's like, Fowler's in on it, Romano's in on it. He's like, finally, we're like, dude, it's our turn to hit. So I, like, went oh, yeah. to, I went to Mark Mulder, I went to Loesch, I went to <laughs> baseball guys because it was a, initially yeah. a baseball question and they were like, no, you're, you know, two games. You know, what, yeah, two games above five hundred. Yeah. So, all right, case closed. But yeah. luckily, you guys didn't know, or at least you're arguing, and now you're US Open yeah. champ. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Nice, tricky question. That is the the only reason I won. Was that? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. The only reason. Was, <laughs> yeah. All it. right, I'm gonna give you a choice. You can choose a question from your Ryder Cup teammate Max Homa, or your Oklahoma State Cowboy teammate Hayden Wood. Well, <laughs> <laughs> good options. Yeah, well, both very good options. Hayden's is gonna be more. Get me more and be smarter. 
I think it'll be a smarter question. To do Maiden. Max or do no no, no Max will probably be not as bad. How about can I do both? Well, you're gonna we get both. I'm just asking which one you want to have first. Oh, uh, let's let's start easy. Let's start with Max. Okay, from Max Homa, what's harder to charade, whore bag or dirty Sanchez? <laughs> <laughs> That's a great if question. If you could act it out, <laughs> yeah, actually, it would help. We need to, you to act it out. We have YouTube here. I think the people would like to see it. <laughs> oh, oh my God. <laughs> so we were at the Bahamas this year. I don't know if you told you this story. Oh, yeah. oh my God. It was so amazing. So we're at the Bahamas and we're playing. There's like eight of, ten of us. And we, <laughs> Alicia puts whore bag on one of the things. <laughs> And John had to act it out. And John's doing all these things trying to be a whore bag. <laughs> what and, kind of things? What kind of things? I can't. I can't <laughs> Just like some big, quick visuals. If you don't no, I can't do it. But there was a lot of things going on. And then finally, he was just trying to basically do anything with the everywhere. Where it's everywhere. <laughs> it, John, he did it. He John. did it. I knew he couldn't stop himself. He did it. <laughs> John started doing all these things. And... Max and I, we, we knew what it was, but we just loved watching him perform this. We're like, no, dude, keep going, keep John going. John was basically trying to shove a dick anywhere. <laughs> anywhere. <laughs> we were laughing so hard. And the time runs out, and he's like, you guys didn't know? And we're like, we knew what it was. Yeah, we knew just it was 13 minutes ago. Yeah. This is it so was, great. It was, it was so amazing. Uh. John Great question, Max. Uh, so Horvag, Horvag is definitely anywhere. that might be uh, the, that's uh, the quote. It's like our two hundred something episode. That's my favorite quote in the history of the show. <laughs> oh, he's so great, John. He's God. Like, oh, God. And by the way, if we had a video, this thing would have gone viral. I mean, yeah. it was. <laughs> I said, should I get him to reenact? He goes, if you do, this will be amazing. I was trying to get, and then he was. He <laughs> no, just because casually be, put the arms up. We know I'd, what you're doing. We know what you're doing. You uh, sicko. God. Then I'd become a, a meme if I did it. Uh, just we're be... gonna clip that. Trust me. I don't know what's <laughs> going viral, but I'm gonna have it for forever. All right. Next one. This is from Hayden Wood. In reminder to everyone listening, home, this was many, many moons ago, long time ago. But have you ever sent the exact same bouquet of flowers to two different girls in one Valentine's Day? I mean, he, obviously the answer is yes. <laughs> Could have just said no at the end of the whole thing. No, I don't even know what you're talking about. two different sets of bouquets. Like. Okay, here's how the story goes. I was a freshman. I didn't realize, I didn't know the power of social media. I didn't know that the girls were in the same sorority. Didn't know that. And I also didn't. I, also, I also didn't know that girls all talk. And so... I was talking to this one girl. This is going to make me sound terrible. But I was talking to this one girl, and we were kind of dating. But the girl I really, really liked was a girl I went, like, she. we kind of started flirting. We went on a date, went on another date. And then Valentine's comes up. I'm like, man, I've been kind of hanging out with this girl. But this girl's kind of giving me – so I send them both the exact same thing. They both put it on social media, like, oh, this is so sweet, whatever. And then someone goes, uh, those are the same thing. And then mm -hmm. they both find out. They both – text me say hey we know what you did and i lost both of them <laughs> <laughs> and i lost both of them uh, just when i learned my lesson i, I could understand i don't know they're in the same sorority but the i don't know the girls talk like well here's the thing what do you she, think they're doing soccer team and like i knew the one girl was in a sorority i didn't know the other one was in this like in a sorority hey. so i was like sorority girl and a sports girl they probably don't mingle you know and yeah. well, sure i enough. can't imagine them sitting on the couch this summer watching the us Open and be like you're not gonna believe what that guy <laughs> yeah. did <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah hey the apple doesn't fall yeah. far from the tree but... i didn't know that that was her big and her little you know I mean, <laughs> they're in the same room oh my god <laughs> delivered at the same time oh that's great same uh, pole yeah yeah <laughs> This is better you than emergency night. Yeah, this is way better to do this. For more. Oh man, I've done some dumb things. Jeez, Louise. No, See, dude, 30, you're 30, 30, but now you're 30. Yeah, now, now you're I don't 30. do that. That was, when I was, that was my 20s. You tighten it up. 20s. 